I'm on my form site. First things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. My company is Crystal Ridge Technology Screens. I'm on my form site. We're in there having a ball, laughing about this screen called the Raven matching his screen with a tablecloth. So they're in there hooting and carrying on about the screen. They're, they're dying. Because the fact that at the end of the day, we're able to match two pro screen paints to a tablecloth. And they like the name the Raven and all that stuff. So anyway, you got many guys are talking. And the guy was like, hey, you can pretty much you make this stuff. You made this stuff way back in the day. Um, how close could you come to probably making the Cinemax? Now, before we didn't have, um, I didn't even know that video was actually around. But the video I saw of him painting the screen pretty much gives me a really up close image of the Cinemax. And that's pretty much, as I'm looking at him, like, hey, it matches the exact same color we have on the screen downstairs, the Raven. They look exactly alike. So the personal mix is four tablespoons of black paint. I saw the Cinemax next to some of the screen when he did the demonstration. It gave me a pretty good idea how close we could come to hit one of them. So we do have the ingredients for the Cinemax. Now, Crow, this is where you come in. It's very important. This is the, uh, if you feel that what we're doing today right now, um, if you feel that this is not your product, we're giving you the opportunity. We're going to post the ingredients and we're giving you the opportunity to be able to make the product live and put it against your product to see whether or not if it matches or not. Now, keep in mind, we're not looking for a perfect match, but we're looking for a heck of a close enough match. And I think we can get it. So let me show you. Now, I told you before, you know, coming back from my history, I used to make uh, gray screen paint products back in the day. I guess I got to show a little bit of that because, like I said, I'll get people up there and say, oh, you're just making this product for sake of just making them. No. We used to make these products back in the day. And I made them under a company called uh, Digital One Crystal Screen Paint. It's my favorite website and everything right there. Now, I've told him before, if he feels that he can make my product, feel free to try to make it, post it. I'll make the ingredients and I'll put it against my own screen to be fair. But I'm going to show you something right here. So. This is my old company under Digital One Crystal Screen Paint. This is where I first started from with my company, and we used to make gray screen paint products. As a matter of fact, there's me from nine years ago, and that's me with a gray screen paint product, as you see right there. I was making gray screen paint products long before most of these people ever existed, or most of you people knew me all at this time. So yes, we did gray paint screen paint products, the first thing we started working with before. Oh, where are these color demonstrations coming from? I like that one right there. So anyway, so we're going to be, uh, what's oh, a new video too? Shoot. They got new content on already. Thank you, man. I'm getting tired of doing the same content over again. All right. So this is me from nine years ago under digital one crystal screen paint. This was our, um, one of our companies we had when we first started off with screen paint products. So like I said, I was making this stuff a long time ago. I'm designer of Digital One Crystal Screen Paint. Now, this is one of the best emails ever. So there's me right there, a much younger version of me. And this is me doing a demonstration of basically using smear screen with paint and paint over top of it. So as you can see, the screen paint I'm using is not black, it's actually gray. So yeah, I've done just about everything you could possibly name with gray screen paint products. At the end of the day, we can pretty much look at something and tell how it's made. So there you go, right there. So that's me painting the screen. Just to show you a little bit back of my history, we used to make this stuff back in the day. So most of it, when we used to develop it, was simple. It was basically black and white paint with a little glitter and some silver in it. That's how a lot of it was made. But I'm going to show you how I think we can come close to making this product. And like I said, if I'm wrong on this, he can make the product himself, do the demonstration, and show there's no comparison. And I don't have to follow the ingredients precisely as we have displayed. Um, let me go over here real quick. And let me grab, um, let me see. I like how they got this projector hooked up to the ceiling. I'm going to do that downstairs. How do they do that? I think the ultra shirt hooked up like that. That is freaking cool. i got to rig something like that. i got to come back to this again. 
sky ceiling projection system. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta research that. Anyway, so uh, let's go over here to, let me see, we have the Cinemax. We can tell just by looking at the screen exactly where we can, how dark we have to make the screen to do it. hundred times better. You saw. Well, we'll see in a few minutes, buddy, because we can duplicate your products just by looking at them. It's not hard to do. Never wrong. And like I said, you can, like I said, we have ingredients that we made. He still hasn't tested against yet. So yeah, just looking at it right here, we can tell exactly how what color it is. That's not easy, hard to do. I would say that's about uh, four to five tablespoons of black paint to pull that off. Yeah, that's all I need to see. We got it. All right, that's about four to five tablespoons to match that color right there. I can go to Home Depot and get a snapshot of that and make that, get that made from Home Depot. But anyway, let me show you. We'll do it the, the hard way. So just by looking at that exactly, that particular tone, whatever we make is probably going to come close to either matching it or come extremely close to matching it. And that's all we need to do. All right, now when we get our, our, um, our product here, we're gonna match it against this right here. All right, so here we are, we got our white paint. And as you can see, uh, we're gonna put in, at first, we're gonna put in about, we're gonna do, let's see, Cinemax was four. Uh, let's do, no Cinemax was four, uh, freaking um, Personal was four. So we're gonna do one, two, three, four, I'm going to say it's five, I'm telling you, I'm sure it's, it's five, that's five right there, all right, I need something to stir that up with, let me leave you guys over here, I'm telling you, buddy, it looks just like your product right here. So we did five into one quart. We did five tablespoons of black paint. I know for a fact that the personal mix is four. I told you I can just look at your product and see how it's made. The personal mix we know automatically from the door is four. Just by staring at your screen, we can tell exactly what color it is. Exactly. Now, Crow, if you feel that I've wronged you, make the ingredients and post it live today. Till then, we got your product over here. A buddy of mine, just, just in a form, so he said, can't you just look at that and make it? Haven't you been making that stuff for years? Like, yeah, we can look at it and tell. He said, then just make it then. And that's what we're doing right now. There you go, buddy. Now, if you say that's not your product right there at the end of the day, then you wouldn't mind making the ingredients live, would you? And posting the video against your product. Now, like I said, two things are going to come out of this. Is this thing's going to come very close to matching your screen, or it's going to be an identical match. Either way, both of them is a win-win. So, do you mind doing the demonstration today or tomorrow? Uh, we put five tablespoons of the black paint into white. Now, I know four of these actually make the personal. We do that. Four automatically make the personal. So, I told you it had to be somewhere... In between, it can't be. It can't be the personal. We'd be matching the personal. Mm -hmm. Meet one of the rollers up here. And like I said, 
He can sit there and say, oh, but that's not my product. Well, guess what? We're going to post the ingredients. And what we need you to do is take that ingredient that we just posted. Because at the end of the day, like my buddy said, if he can't back it up, you can make whatever the freak you want at the end of the day and claim it to be his product. And we can because you refuse to back it up. So the only way you're going to be able to prove that none of these paints that we're making over here have nothing to do with your product, you're going to have to make them live and post them live and do the demonstrations. If you don't do them, then bottom line is your word means nothing at the end of the day. All right, another ingredients to post. So until you back it up, we're going to call this uh, Cinemax. Um, let me see. Uh, we're going to call it a... Uh, we're going to do some... We'll put some glitter in ours. We're going to put some glitter in ours. We're going to put some glitter and maybe some silver in ours right there. But right, we're going to make it a new Cinemax version. Maybe I get Cinemax light. I don't know. Oh, no, 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 no. I forgot. We can't do that. We're going to make it Theater Max. It's Theater Max. Just want to change it. Theater Max uh, 2.0. There we go. That's what I call it. Theater Max. Like I said, he has time to back it up. That's all he's got to do. That's all you got to do. Now, if you want, Crow, feel free to make my product. I gave you this four times. I told you this four times in a row, didn't I? Four times in a row. So I'm going to give you a fifth time. Make my product, post the ingredients so I can make it and put it against my screen paint. I'm telling you to do it. Just like I'm telling you to make this product today. So let's see what we got out of our mix. See, I'm fair. I'm very fair. You can make our product. Post it. I'm going to see if he can do it. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 Voila, crow. Voila. So, all you got to do is just make the ingredients. That's what I used to do. And that's all. It's just simple and plain. Just make the ingredients and show me that I am definitely wrong on the product I just made here. I had to make sure I made enough of that because we need that for the testing. Nobody was sitting there. We were in the form site. They're laughing at the, the, um, the Raven. They were like, you did not just embarrass that man with a freaking bed sheet. I was like, yep. With a freaking pillowcase. I mean, um, table, they're not cracking up. They're ordering it right now. They're testing your product out, Crow. You're going to have some orders coming through. They're going to test your product out now. Uh, we're we're going to be on AVS Forms tomorrow with this. That's why we just did a promo video. If you see a demo come up and it's just basically just me talking on Yeah, that's the promo video. That's the one we're posting all the form sites by tomorrow. So you're going to have to back this up, buddy. But like I said, if you feel that I wronged you, all you got to do is make my product. Tell me how, it, how you made our product. Post the ingredients, and I'll make it and put it against my own screen. I got no problem doing that. I love a challenge. All you got to do. But until then, there's your product. And when we get your Cinemax down here, we'll compare them. So then, this is called the Theater Max 2.0. Theater Max 2.0, buddy. Do 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 do. Gotta yeah, be careful about putting videos like that. You know, you can snap a picture that I take it to Home Depot. They can get the exact same color from there, too. Yes, they can. Yep. We got your product right here. So, if I'm wrong, like I said, 
All you got to do is just make the product. That's all you have to do. Now, let's show you other different paths we can take. Other combinations we can do. Say if we don't want to do five, four. What would happen? I say four, five would be pushing it. Three, I know for a fact that four is actually the personal mix. So what would happen if we did three? Let's see if we do three of them, what would happen? So I'm going to break it down for you. See what kind of shades we get out of this. This is how you break it down with the shades. Now remember, we got this from a tutorial video. A tutorial video showed us how to do it. Those tablespoons allow us to be able to break it down. So anything we put in tablespoons, anything from two, the Metallica mix he said was two from the door. Actually, we dropped in 10 in one of them, and we were able to do two screens at the same time. Come on, man, move. You're in the way. So let's see what happens if we change this up and we take it and we put in. We did our last time we did four. Let me write all this stuff down before we forget everything here. We're going to break this down. We got a match. But let's see if we can do if we can get two shades in there. Let's see if we can get two shades in there. Let's see if we can increase the contrast levels on the product and also to uh, increase the white levels. So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing a balance back and forth. Don't worry about it, buddy. Calm down. All right, so let's move on. I leave the chat open. I don't block it sometimes because I'm expecting to get some education. You know, somebody to talk with some a little bit to the, the little rants and stuff. But, you know, we still get the same old rants. So we have to keep putting them in timeout. Now, what are you complaining about for? You complaining about the Raven now? Are you complaining about the Raven? I gave you a good product right there that matches. You did an ultra short though demonstration on the Raven. I shared that with him today. I sent that over to him today. He came in with a bunch of rants. And then the minute I showed him the demonstration with the Raven, everything stopped. It shut down for him. The reality has kicked in now for him. So, okay. So if he feels that he can, he can always get the Raven anytime he wants and do the demonstration side by side, it's up to him. But right now, let's break these down real quick. All right, so I'm going to get some white. I'm going to change it up a little bit here. Now keep in mind, I told you. Now, Crow Boys, I'll explain to you. I used to make this stuff back in the day, so it's nothing. It's like baking cookies at the end of the day. So. What you find complicated and confusing, I've been here and done it already. I've tried every combination you could possibly think of. So we got this one right here. This is some bone white. This is what we have now. This is five right here. Let's see what happens if we drop in about, hmm, I want to go with, uh, let's go with, we do four. Four is going to be the personal. So let's do three. Let's do three this time. So we just want to do three. Is it? Don't worry about the countertop. I've checked this countertop so many times it's not even funny. So we're just going to do three this time. Now he's more than welcome to do these tests along with us, but he won't do them. You know why? Because if that paint matches by just a little bit on his screen, it's lights out. He knows it. So he can't do the demonstration. And if he can't do the demonstration, then what's going to happen? Hmm? Let's try it. You want to do two first. I like to experiment with these shades. You can always build from there, keep in mind. Always can build from there. Now, two would be pretty um, weird. You know why two would be weird? And I'll tell you why. Because his Metallica paint was two tablespoons. If his Metallica paint at two tablespoons matches the Cinemax, that's not good. And now you see why, at the end of the day, he didn't want his product to come here. Now, we could have used the black paint he has in the container, but no, we need to keep that still. We need to ship that back. Crow, that's coming back to your address. PayPal's giving me your address in a few minutes. Uh, so we can ship that back to you once all that's settled and everything. We'll get your shipping address. We'll send, we'll send everything back to you. So he's going to get the product back to him. There we go. Well, we got to make several of these right here. Look at that color right there. Tell me that's not a nice one right there. That's two tablespoons of black into some white paint right there. He's probably getting real nervous right now. 
see the difference right there and there. Off by a little shape, but this one's actually lighter. This one's a little darker right there. Now, as I said, the fellow said, and he was right. If Crow can't back this up, if he can't back it up, at the end of the day, we can claim it as ours, and we can claim it as anything we want because he can't back it up. He can't go, oh, but that's not my product. Well, do you have any test results showing that it's not your product at the end of the day? Or you don't have any? You didn't do any tests at all? All right, then there you go. So we're going to call this Theater Max. Now this is not for my customers. My customers are not interested in this. They don't. They don't tamper mess with it. This is for, this is catered to your Crow's customers. We're we're pointing this toward you in your direction. Our campaign is now towards you. That's what we're pointing it now toward. And if you feel that we're wrong, you can do the test yourself. The ingredients are right there. I don't think you want to. You don't think you want to know. That's what it is. I don't think you want to know at the end of the day. Honestly, at the end of the day, I don't think you want to know. That's why you don't do the demonstrations, because at the end of the day, you really don't want to know. You don't want to know whether or not you got taken for some paint. At the end of the day, you don't want to know about that. That somebody lied to you and told you that you got something that you didn't get. You don't want to find that out, do you? Let's get a good swab on this. I want this coated real nicely. We're going to make our own swabs here. All right. There we go. That's one right there. Let's get this other one real quick. So that one was made with five tablespoons of black paint and white paint. That's made with two. I think that one's going to be nice too because that one's real lightweight there. So we'll post the ingredients. Let's write everything down for you. So you'll have everything for you. We'll post it in this video right here. Now, like I said, if he feels that we're wrong, he can make it a match himself. If he doesn't match it, then we already know. You know the story already. Like my friend sat there and said, if he doesn't match it, Oh, by the way, my friend's an attorney, just to let you know real quick, Crow. He's an attorney. He's a good friend of mine. He doesn't represent me, he's just an attorney. But he was telling me a few things when he was on the site. He's actually on the site laughing about it, your product. <laughs> so anyway, here, here's the thing, man. He said at the end of the day, if you can't back it up, showing that that is actually your product, you have no claim to it at all, period. There you go. You see now we did the demonstration where I took that, that raven and I stuck it against my black screen. You see how high the level came up on my, my screen was in the color, the whole nine yards. We can back our technology. You see where I took that black uh, fabric and stuck it against the screen and everything went dark? See, that's what I mean by you can back your product. You can't back your product. So I can make your product and name it anything that I want and give it away for free. And at the end of the day, you couldn't do anything about it because you don't have any demonstrations backing the product. So since I realized that we gave you those attempts multiple times, I had my buddy, my friend was just saying, did he do any of the demonstrations? I was like, no. He said, man, that's free roam. You can do whatever freak you want. What can you do? And there's nothing you can do. Mind you, and I have experience in that field. I used to develop great screen paint products. So I'm renaming all your products now. We're going to make it and rename all of them and just put them out for free. And if you feel that at the end of the day that we're wrong, then just do the demonstrations. That's all you have to do. All right, let's start on the next one. Now, as I said, at the end of the day, you may think your customers are loyal, loyal, loyal. Let me explain something to you about human nature at the end of the day. At the end of the day, if a person can find a cheaper and better way of doing something, they are going to do it. It's very rare you're going to have somebody continue to pay for something, even if they find out that at the end of the day, it could be a potential scam. So, like I said, at the end of the day, your customers are just like everyday people. They got bills and things that have to be paid for, and they just want a nice product that's going to work. 
And if you can't back your product, then they're going to go someplace else. And especially if they can make it for on their own, then yeah, they're not so loyal anymore. All right, then. Let's continue on with the next one. Uh, this is the lighter one we made. This one we made with two. Instead of one, we made two with this one. Let's pour a little bit of this one out. Ooh, we might be getting closer. So when your Cinemax gets here, what we're going to do is we're going to match it against what we have here. Your ingredients right there. And mind you, how we got the idea for this? Well, we use Crow's tutorial video on black and white paint. This is all we're doing. It's mixing basic black and white paint. We're not mixing anything more in it. There's no glitter, no gold, none of that. Now, the digital one crystal screen paint, you have all that in there? Yes, they do. But this, at the end of the day, is just basic black and white and paint. We're just controlling it by the tone. That's all we're doing it. Let me get this down a little bit more so I can get you guys. You guys can see it right there, right? Okay. So I can work this into the screen. Making our own. Now this is going to be two. This is two tablespoons of white paint into um, into uh, uh, white. Two tablespoons of black paint into white paint. Now, if you want to make the darker mixes, we do advise you to start off with the base being black first, and then drop those as them being um, teaspoons. I mean tablespoons of white paint. That's how we got the UV mix. Look, I bet you your customers right now are sitting there with a pen and pencil writing all this down. But like I said, Jamie, if you feel you can make our products, then go ahead and make them. I dare you. I double dare you. I triple dare you. Make my product, post my ingredient, I'll make it myself. I'll put it against my own screen. I'll paint a huge screen of it and stick it against my own screen. Go ahead. Chicken. You are. You're a chicken. You're a coward at the end of the day. I'm telling you to make my product for me. Go make it. Go ahead. Make it. You can't make it. You can't even make black and white paint. And you can't, at the end of the day, I've seen your black products. They suck. You can't make a proper black screen without making it gray. So you're just knowing that we're going to be able to make a technology that dark to begin with and be able to produce that high white level because in the back of your mind, you're stuck on white paint. Oh, look at the color we got on this one. Look at that one. Got a little darker here. We got lighter here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm giving him that opportunity. Now, he has until tomorrow. He can make the ingredients. You post it. I'll check on your channel. I'll make it. I'll do the demonstration right there. I'll put it right against my product. Let's see if it matches. But until then, we're going to start calling this. Because this is a series we're going to put on. We're, going to, we're taking your name. We're taking it. Uh, we're going to call this Theater Max. Theater Max, um, it's not even a 2.0. Honestly, at the end of the day, let's get real here. It's probably something like a 1.0 or something like that, something low. That's what it is. So we'll call it Theater Max 1.0, and we're going to make three of these. So we made one with the uh, five. That's the darkest. And we'll make one right here with the two. All right, we're going to make one, two, and three. That's what we're going to do. That's exactly how we're going to do it, okay? There we go. And then I get done, I'll make your Frankenstein next. All I got to do is just see the picture of your screen. That's it. That's all we need. All right, this one's really nice. Tell me if it's not nice right here. That's real nice right there. Look at that. So you're going to make three versions of your Cinemax. Lighter version, darker version, and the mid. Right there. Hmm. We're going to call it Cinemax. No, no, so we can't call it Cinemax. I'm sorry, I don't apologize, people. Theater Max. It's called Theater Max. Theater Max 1.0. Point oh. That's what we're calling it. Hello, New York City. The other one was a little too dark. We got you. We got your product, Crow. The other one was a tad too dark. We got you. We got your Cinemax. 
I knew it was in there somewhere. I was looking, I was like, wait a minute. It's in there somewhere. This is what it is. Wow, okay. We're gonna rebrand your product now. That's what we're gonna do. Now, if I'm wrong, if I'm wrong, make the product and post it on YouTube now. And while you're at it, don't forget the rest of the spring paints we told you to make also too. Oh, it's not gonna be that easy, man. I'm not gonna tell you to make one, you gotta make all of them. If you're gonna make one, you gotta make them all. And throw in that raven while you're at it. Until then, we'll start duplicating your products over here and we'll start branding them and throwing them up on the site for free. Until you can back your product up. And if you sit there and tell people, well, no, 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 he, that's not his pro that's not my product, so and so and so. Well, without that test demonstration, you basically don't have uh, you like what they call it, calling up the creek without two road two two paddles. That's pretty much where you're at right now. I told you, man, there's more than one way to skin a cat. Of course, in this case, you got your feathers plucked crow big time. So now you got a raven screen you gotta deal with. You gotta figure out how to get around that because man, there's people right now, that company, whoever sells those uh those tablecloths are gonna sell out pretty quick because people are in there now looking at your screen and they're looking at the compare. They switch that ultra short that they can't get over that one right there. Like, wow, are you kidding me? And now your product right over here. So, like I said, if we're wrong, just make all the products as we as you asked you to do and just match it up. That's all you gotta do. That's all you gotta do. Simple and plain. You just got to back it up. That's all you got to do. Look, he's got to back up the product, man. I don't want to hear it. Don't. I don't want to hear it. Don't come in here talking about this, that, and the other. I don't want to hear the excuses at the end of the day. He's got to back the product up. We did ours already. We're done. We got 17 of them done. So I don't want to hear it. There's no excuse for it. Just back the products up. That's all we got to do. I don't want to hear, no, well, this and well, that. We don't want to hear it. Back the products up. So until he backs the product up, we'll make one every single day and we'll rename it. We'll rebrand it, put it up on the site. Now, mind you, he's going to have to be able to make those ingredients live. Let me show you how impossible the task is he's going to have to be to do. If his product doesn't match everyday black and white paint, he should be able to pass the demonstration very easily. There shouldn't be a problem. But the fact that we've already waited a month and two weeks for him to do this clearly shows it is what we, we say it is. We told his product was trash, garbage, try to back in every way he possibly can, and he refuses to do it because at the end of the day, he knows it's going to match. And then on top of that, having a video you making black and white paint really doesn't help you all that well. It causes more damage to you than good. And then the video is deleted. No one can find it. We're the only ones who have it. Again, not good. So, like I said, we're just the only way he can argue that claim by saying it's not his product is he'll have to do the demonstrations. And that means he's going to have to now make, this is eight, added to the Digital One Crystal Screen Paint product line. He has to make all eight of those screen paints live. Name them out, post the ingredients, do them one by one. That's what he's going to have to do. We did this with the blacks already. The black screen paints, we did it already. We made five of them on camera, wrote down the ingredients, put them against our screen, every last one of them failed. This is what he has to do. And now he has to do the fabric, the raven, crow versus raven. Okay, like I said, by tomorrow we'll make two more. Keep it up, we'll have 20 of them to do it, to deal with. But until then, at the end of the day, we can call it whatever we want because you can't back it up. We just told him, make the product. He can make our product if he wants. We told him this four times already. I told him this last month. Oh, let's make another one. All right, so we did one with two. Let me see. Let me get a pen here so I can keep track of these. Keep track of how many of these are making. We did two, one, so on, so on. So, 
Oh, I'm going to show you how to make a nice one, a really, really nice one. I know how to make one that will put all his products to shame right now. We can toss all those out the window and just make one and blow all them out of water. I can show you one simple ingredient that will level all his stuff in one hit. Easily. At the end of the new year, if Crow hasn't fit, done the demonstrations, we will show you one product under Digital One Crystal Screen Paint that will level everything that he's made. And you can make it yourself. So we have some to the new year to get it done. Times are ticking, Crow. You better get to work because again, at the end of the day, like I said, this stuff will level your stuff quick. It's one of the last screen paints we made under Digital One Crystal Screen Paint. We gave you this ingredient. You don't have to touch this stuff no more. You want to touch this stuff now. You got it. You got it. You got the Raven. But we'll give you something real, real nice. Something to make your your oh, those of you that are into that ultra short throw and make that projector pop. You'll love it. Trust me. See, naysayers, you come at me, you hate me, and I'm the one at the end of the day putting money in your pocket, extra money in your pocket. So who are you mad at more? You mad at me because I'm giving you the ability to have a better screen paint, or are you mad at Crow because he basically can't back his product up at the end of the day and he stole from you? You make up your mind. Trying to help you out here. Look at that. <laughs> I'm giving you a nice 2022 package. Something nice. I'm going to hook you up with one of our last screen paints. They're going to give you the ability to be able to save some serious money. Now, keep in mind, like I said, all these products we're giving you, we can test this against our technology all day long. You've seen what that screen did to that Raven, right? You saw that demonstration. That black screen pushed that image so high up, man, it was blended right into it. Yeah, yeah, that's the beautiful thing about black technology. Yeah. All right, so we got these two right here, all right? Now, at the end of the year, we want to give you a special paint, a special ingredients for you. And then we can wipe all this off the site, and you can just leave it with that. You'll still be the toner with the black levels, make it darker, and make it lighter. You'll be to do that. All right, so we got this one right here. We got one with five. One with two, we got, all right, we got five tablespoons for this one, a quart, and the other one has two, all right? Now, mind you, too, you, when you're doing your grays, too, on top of that, people, you got to experiment with your grays. You don't always have to go with a black and white mixture. You can just buy gray paint at the end of the day, you know that, and just add some black to it or some white to it, you know, if you want to do it that way, too. You got to get a little crazy. We've we, we done just about everything on the sun you can do with it. All right, let's find something. I'm falling right out of bowls here. Got a bottle of cups anyway. Let's get some more paint. You know, it's funny. I, I get these people who get mad. Look at that. He's angry. Boy, really angry. That's Crow. That's stuff. When you see people coming in like that, that's not a supporter. That's actually Crow coming in with different accounts. That's him. When you see somebody blasting all caps and counting, that's actually Crow at the end of the day. His customers right now are in here watching to see what ideas they can get from us in order to be able to make a better screen paint for themselves and save some money. That's what they're doing. But the ones that are coming here blasting and carrying on, that's all crow at the end of the day. They're not all they're not all crow boys. We said it for just for fun, but that's not all crow boys. That's crow actually coming here blasting and going off right now. And I would be too be going up because at the end of the day, like I said, you know, we're coming close to making all your products. I mean, I would be very upset too at the end of the day, too. But then again, like I said, you gotta back your products up. All right, where are we gonna go with this one? Uh, you wanna go with one on this one? One? We should have a wheel we can spin and you guys can figure out which ones you want to do. We're making screen paint with Ken. All right, so let's do one on this one right here. Let's just do one. We just do one on here. That's all we're going to do. All right, just one. Just 
Doesn't this kind of remind you of the, of the when he was doing the screen paint products when, on, on this free demonstration? We'll put that below. We'll show you the link below where we got the idea from. Mind you, uh, uh, Jamie, I understand you're upset right now and you're really angry, but you have to understand, we are basically doing, um, we're basically at the end of the day doing using your tutorial video. And if I was going to say Bob Ross, dude, at the end of the day, we matched all his products. So, you know, you can make all the little insults you want. We got videos backing up every product. We matched everything he has over here. Even the Raven downstairs can match his screen. And that's not even a paint. That's a basic tablecloth at the end of the day. But, you know, like I said, his customers are not going to come in here ranting like that because at the end of the day, they're quiet. They're just sitting there trying to see exactly what secrets they can get. And how they don't have to spend the money for paint. Think about it. You can make as much as you want. And you don't have to spend all that money for it. There you go. Now, that's the same speech we have when we go into form sites. And we got people in there that got like 5,000 and 20,000, 40,000, 50,000. That's where we're at right, when we go at to go play. We're over in those areas right there. These are showing these massive home theater sets, these monster screens. That's where I go to play. Because in there, those people are spending $5,000 and $18,000 for projection screen setups. and all. They got the money in there to do that. So we can go in there and say at the end of the day, at least you're not spending $5,000 for a screen paint or a projection screen when our technology can do that. And we show them our test demonstrations against their certified screens that they have sitting in their living rooms right now. There you go. See, that's where we go to play. Crow can't go in there and play. They're laughing. My, like, Man, you get the, that's the same color I got on my wall in my theater room. That's what the same thing they're going to say back to him. Let's stir this up and see what we get out of this one right here. Da da dee da da do. Now that's a nice color right there. I'm gonna put these downstairs under the fan right now. Heck, look, we made one call the Mega Mix. Remember the Mega Mix? Now the Mega Mix was basically we just threw paints together. We didn't measure jack. We just do that together and that together, and it still matches screen paint. I was like, wow. Literally. Like, that was too easy. Let's take these downstairs right now. I'm going to put these in front of the fan. Well, like I said, if you feel that, you know, we're wrong in doing this, all you got to do is just make the ingredients we have here, along with the rest of them, and just post them live. That's all you got to do. Do it live. Now, if you don't do any demonstrations and if you don't follow up on what we're doing right here, well, at the end of the day, it belongs to me. And you can't back it up. What are you going to say? You're going to say, oh, that's not my product. It doesn't match my product. How do you know if you didn't do the test yourself? There you go. You can't say that, Crow. Just like the bench sheet. Does it not match your product? The Raven, quote the Raven, evermore. Look how beautiful that black screen is. You crow boys don't even know what that's like to have, do you? You don't know what it's like that technology like that. You're dealing with this mess, this outdated seven-year-old product. That's what you're dealing with, old stuff. Look how beautiful that screen looks. You got that pasty gray sitting on your wall. I got that jet black OLED. Your screens look like something like, you know what your screens look like? You know them old TVs from back in the day, them old tubes that are gray, you got the round corners. That's what your screens look like. Them old fashioned TV tubes, some RCAs that you sit on the floor with the UHFs in the back of it with them rabbit ear antennas. That's what your screens look like, that gray on them. I got that slick black OLED, that new technology. You know what you should do? Just take your screen and just stick some coat hangers. Just stick a coat hanger behind the back of your screen. Because that's pretty much what it looked like. Get some of them big old plastic knobs and just stick them right here and here and put some wood grain. There you go. There you go. Your old-fashioned TV already from the door. Please. Let me see. We sit right here. I, I see. Looked at the Raven. Yeah, that's what the Raven is. It's on Amazon. Nothing new. We just told you that. Let's see. I looked at the link on Amazon. It's not there. The link, please. We did put the link there. It's right there. 
Do you need to go? Do you don't see at the end of the day? Don't play Mr. Bird. You're not Mr. Bird. Mr. Bird backs everything up. And if it links, you're blocked without the link. So you better be telling the truth. But if I go upstairs and hit that link and it activates, you don't get the link. I just blocked you. Everybody's craving for link. We need link. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. We will give you the link now. <laughs> what are you mad about, man? Calm down, man. Relax, relax, relax. Relax. He's angry. He's real angry. And the bird stinks. Why? Because I'm giving you the link. Don't worry about it, man. You're about to get the raven. 2.0, man. There it is right there. Look at that screen. That's it right there. Look at the raven. You want to see what the raven look like? There's the raven right there. Look at it. There's a raven. Look how beautiful that screen looks. You're going to pay $80 for paint at the end of the day? Are you kidding me? There's a raven right there. Trying to hook y'all up. All right, let me go over here. I got the wrong fire stick upstairs. Let's go up here. Let's get this link for you guys. We still got that other screen paint. We got to make one. Let those dry right there. But he's mad talking about Ken. Come on, man. Calm down, man. Relax. I'm going to hook you up with the link. Let me shoot. Slobbering at the mouth. Ugh, ugh. You want a tissue? Calm down. I got you. I got you. Just chill. Relax. Relax, 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 relax. Calm yourself. Calm yourself. Relax. Shh, shh, shh. I'm going to put you over my shoulder. I'm going to calm you down. Shh, shh, shh. Calm down. Calm down. You good now? All right, then. Let's get this. Okay? All right. Let me see. First, I got to figure which fire stick we got to switch it up. I'm trying to calm you down. Let me hold you. I'll hold you. I'll hold you in my arms. I got you. I got you. Don't worry. I got you. Let me see. We grabbed the other fire stick. I'm upstairs. This is this one, right? Yep, that's that one. So. Oh, we set it over here just in case. All right. So let's go check up on Mr. Burr's computer. We got the other fire stick because you got it mixed up. Look, uh, Crow Boys, your insults don't work on me. You know that? They don't. You know why they don't work? Because I don't care. That's why. But at the end of the day, I'm hooking you up. You already got this already. Done and deal. Done and done. If this product works, you back it up. If he does it, then you know, at the end of the day, how's that my problem? All right? So let me see what we got going on here. There's a link right there. You say it don't work? Let's see if it don't work or not. No, 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 no. Let's see if it works or not. You waste my time. I'm going to turn to the side so you can't get the link. I'll just block you altogether. Oh, no, no. You see, you messed up. You said something stupid. Goodbye. You don't get the link now. You should have been quiet. Now you got blocked. You don't get the link. Let's show you people where the link's at. He just lost it. This is where you get the link at. We're going to post it in the other one. He kept running his mouth. I had to let him go. He can't get the link now. All right. There it is right there. Boom! There's a link right there. There is the bed sheets right here. Is the sheets right here? Boom. Right there. Now you don't want to go with the black because the black ain't going to work for you. This is the one you want to go with. They got the light gray. They got gray. They got black. Which one you want to go with? Which one you want to go? Which one you go? They got ivory. They got all the colors. You want to go ivory? So the colors I would choose is ivory. If you want real light, if you want something that's going to match this product a little darker, you go with that gray. Or you go right here with the light gray. Light gray is what we're using. That's the Raven. It's the light gray. Now, what sizes do we have in here? Now, if you want to do uh, a 60, that's a big screen. 60 by 120 inches. That's a pretty big screen. How much would that cost you compared to Crow's product? $20.99. Ding, 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 ding. Fantastic. Let's see. What if you want to go 60 by 84? Calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. See, I'm about to, I'm about to take the communications away. All right, now let's try sixty.
by 84. How much would that cost you? $15.99. Okay. Now, look. What are you fussing about now? What's the problem? What's the fussing about? All he's got to do is back the product. That's all he got to do. What's the problem with backing the product? You see my black screen over there? See that dark black screen? See that gunman over there? When I post these screens, the first thing I want to go into form sites, any other form site I pop into, the first thing someone says out of their mouth is, oh, I can do the same thing with black paint. And it's not even a crow boy. It's just an everyday Joe that will say that. And guess what I say? No, the freak you can't. And no say, got any proof? And I was like, sure enough, I do. Here's a link. 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 There's 17 of these bad boys. And then they'll go back how much. There you go. But if we come to Crow's product, this is what we get. He can't match his product to this and can't match his product to that. And it's the crow boy talking about, oh, you don't know what you're doing. You don't know what you're talking about. You know, his product works. I got it on my wall. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> back it up. Stop with this nonsense and back it up. Don't come in here running your mouth. Take the ingredients. It's for free. Copy it down. Go to Home Depot or Lowe's. Copy the link right here. Take it home. Do the demonstration. Post it. And I'll pop into your video and we'll see. But you're not going to do that. So there's a link right there. Just gave it to you. Now, I gave you an option. Now you lost the option now. We're going to put the link right here. Let me see. As a matter of fact, I'm going to give you the whole shebang. Let's give you the whole shebang. Let's activate the whole shebang. Mm. Bam. You don't need our screen paints. We don't serve you guys at the end of the day. You don't get my products. Cool boys, I don't serve you when it comes to my products. You don't. You got you stuck with what you stuck with. You're not worthy of my technology. Okay. There's the whole link right there. Let's pop out of here real quick. Let's go into our video. He may be talking about there's no link in the description. That's what he may be talking about. Let's see what we got here. Here we go. Now, I've got it for you right here. Be happy. Enjoy. Search still because I was about to block all y'all communications in a few minutes. I better lock y'all out at the door. But you know what? You're right. I went in there and we didn't load anything in there, so my bad. But here it is right now. Here you go. Boom! It's yours. Got everything in there you want. This will keep you giddy as a schoolgirl with a new dress. And that's a whole lot of giddy. You ever seen a schoolgirl with a new dress? You ever seen how giddy they get? It's a lot of giddy. So you got a lot to go in there. You, should, you shouldn't even be talking to me right now. You should be going through all of this. This is what you need to be going through. See all the ingredients we gave you? All that you should be going through. Wait, wait, there's more, there's more, there's more. You should be going through all of this, all of this. We got the Cinemax right here. We got another version we made right there, Cinemax. We got the ingredient for the digital crystal screen paint, the ingredient for the digital crystal paint, two point ice. We got the YouTuber who made his own screen paint posted right there. You can watch his video right there for yourself. We got Crow right here. Another customer didn't like him, called him the Seafoam Liar. Couldn't we trust him? You got to see his review on that one right there. We got over here, we got the do-it-yourself screen paint mix showing Crow making his own mix out of black and white paint. This is where we got our ingredients from to make the UB mix right there. Boom, for you. Hold on for a minute. Let me see something for a minute. One table some more. Bop, 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 bop. Hmm. Oh, for a minute. Uh, let me see. Okay, he's still complaining. All right, that's it for you. You're just done. And what are you complaining for? What are you complaining? We just said we block. I block you because I don't want to hear you. I block you because you can't basically at the end of the day back the product, man. You can't back the product. And if you can't back the product, what's the point? Are you basically in here chatting and talking at the end of the day? What? Oh, I love you guys. I'm about to embarrass you so badly. You about to, I'm about to show you something that you have to embarrass you so badly. So I'm not going to block y'all yet. I'm not going to talk your channel yet. I want y'all to see something real quick. Now, those of you coming to the channel talking, I'm pretty sure you have a screen paint on your wall, right? You have, wait, wait, wait. Now listen, 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 listen. You have, your, you have this product on your wall, right? That's what you have? That's what you have, right? You got the product on your wall? Oh, this is a screen too. You know that, right? That's black technology. Oh, ceiling too. That's a screen up there too. I can turn my lights on and uh, and watch things off the screen. You know that, right? I can do that up there. You know I can do that? It's 150 up there. Y'all can't do that. 
You can't do any of that. Y'all sitting in the dark. Y'all can't do that. I can turn my lights on right now. Watch everything in there with no problem. Well, wait a minute. Let me show you something real quick. First, let's get this done real quick first. Let's make this warm. Let them rant. Let them rant. Let them have their fun. Let them rant. I got a pacifier for you real soon. It's called Your Product Sucks. That's what it's called. I'm going to give you a pacifier in a few minutes. But I'm going to let you rant. I want you to talk about because I'm not going to delete your comments. I'm going to keep them there. This is for the form site for them to actually look at. All right. So let them rant and carry on do what they usually do. Because, and most of that's crow in there. Crow's in there carrying on and acting. He's angry and upset. But at the end of the day, like I said, just all you got to do at the end of the day is just make the product. That's it. But they don't want to do that. They want to cry and whine about every little thing. Shut up. All you got to do is make the product. Back it up. So all you got to do is back up the product. Would you like a drink of this? Would you like some drink? Drink, drink, drink. Lean back, crow boys. Open up your mouth and lean back. I got something for you. Here, here, hold on, hold on. You want some? Here, you want some? This one guy is ranting his behind off. Goodbye. All right, there we go. Look, I'm explaining something to you. If you want to discuss business, I told you, I don't do business in live chats. Got to email me for that. All right? I had one guy, a customer called me, like, did you just block me? I said, yeah, I did. Usually when you're in there, like, don't, don't discuss business with me at all. Look at the color of that right there. Ooh, we got a good one here. It's a good one, people. You want to see what's in the glass? Look at the color of that right there. Look what's in the glass. Look at that. Ooh, man. That's a pretty color right there. That might go. We got, now we got, this is one. We got one. All right, so we got five. We got two, and we got one. The crow boys, calm down. I'm having some fun with y'all. You get so excited, man, all the time. Relax, man. I'm so hyped up all the time. Calm the freak down. You know, for a person who gets here, let somebody scam you out of some paint, some money for some paint. You showing up are overzealous in this room. I mean, you just going off, flustered and everything. That's elastic. Calm down. You like getting scammed. At the end of the day. That's the case, and you get thrilled. So scam. I got a Brooklyn Bridge right now. I can sell you for like, I can give it to you like ten G's, man. If you want one of them, you know, if it's up to you. Here we go again. Uh, let me see what he's calling it. Okay. Bye-bye. Got to go. All right. Uh, we got this color. Now, I like this one. I like this one over there. Look at that. That's a good one, ain't it? That's a nice one. We got to get a ruler for that one. All right. Let me get another bag for that one right there. Let's grab ourselves another ruler for that one. That looks like a real good one right there. So I don't know what we're going to get out of that one. That's one. Strangers in the night. I'm ranting and carrying on. You know what it is? I think you feel deeply down inside things. What if we say something mean to him? Maybe he'll cry on camera. Really? Seriously? You, you, think about it. In the, the day, you're grown men and women in my room watching me do this. And this is the most intelligent conversation you could actually come back with me with. That's it. If you had kids, you have just now sunk to the same level as your kids. I would say your kids might be smarter at the end of the day. When you see your kids teasing another kid on the playground and calling them stupid names, that's what you're doing right now. You're a child. Why would I entertain you on that? Okay, there you go. Give me something to think about. Next time you see your kids out in the playground teasing another kid, doing that, that's you at the end of the day. Don't even bother lecturing them and telling them how to act like an adult because you act like that every day when you jump on YouTube. Oh, ho! Oh. Man, that struck something, didn't it? Yeah, you act like kids. That's why I don't entertain you. I'm 54 years old, man. I don't got time to entertain your little comments when y'all. I, mean, I look at y'all and go, <laughs> children, at the end of the day. If you're nice, I'll take you to McDonald's get you a Happy Meal. That's it.
the end of the day, people, this is what it comes down to. You're jealous. You're jealous because we can develop technology so fast. I got screen paint right now sitting up there on my shelf that I haven't had time to do. Right now, today, I went in and showed off the Superior Gamer that wiped out multiple certifiers on multiple levels. You couldn't even come close to matching that technology. And yet, you can't even beat this mess. See what I got to do? Mess up my countertop to mix these black and white paints together for a fellow who claims he has the best screen paint. And he can't even match this? And I'm doing certified screens in the morning? Are you kidding me? Please, come on now. Let that reality kick in for a little bit. Think about that. Y'all are here ranting over this, and we do certifies. Let me get ready for the next one. Can't match your product with the black and white paint. What do you think is going to happen if you're doing a certified screen? You can't get a match. You're not going to be to match that. Come on now. Look at that color right there. Is that beautiful or what? All right, we got one in this one right here. So, yeah, we're going to run with this one right here. Let's bring it down a little bit for you. Hey, y'all y'all got to think about that. Y'all in here ranting about some black and white paint mixtures that at the end of the day, he can't even match. And tomorrow morning, I got to be up doing certified projection screens, you know, name brand projection screens, the ones you see on ABS forms. You don't see this crap on ABS forms. Projector Central. They don't acknowledge this stuff at all, period. Let me, let me know the next time you go to one of those shows and they have, they show up all those screens, those tech shows, they're showing this mess off. No. And you got this right up on your wall right now. Do you not? You do. That's why you're in here defending it, because you got it on your wall. That's why. You got it in your living room, you got it in your theater room right now. That's why you're in here defending it. Because you have it. See how much information you give me by just how your attitude and how you carry yourself? If I got on here and I snapped on, uh, 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 that means I let you guys get the best of me. But I'm sitting up here, it's calm as a cool as a cucumber. Just look at listen, y'all. Y'all just at the end of the day, you, you're already telling me you're giving me information already. I'm reading you already. And business, man, that's the one thing you have to do and do is read your opponent. You have to be able to read them. Even by their body language or how they speak or how they talk. This is they give off so much information. And the simple fact the way you guys are carrying on in here shows me at the end of the day you're defending a product that you have already in your home. It upsets you, it bothers you, doesn't it? But it is what it is. You can do the test yourself, but you won't do the test yourself. Some of you've already had, some of you've already done the test already. This is the fact that you thought you were gonna do a video and you were gonna post it and say, I'm gonna prove that guy wrong. He talks too much trash, I'm gonna prove him wrong. And to find out it matched. It came close to matching. At the end of the day, you thought in the back of your mind, I could have did this myself. Well, too late now, Sparky. That's what the problem is. And some of you don't want to know. You don't want to know at the end of the day. You don't want to know that you lost money at the end of the day. But you're curious to know. Sooner or later, like I said, we're popping the raven all over the place. Quote the raven evermore. Isn't that a beautiful one right there? Some nice color right there. This is one tablespoon of black paint. You know what I find interesting? Now, while I'm doing this, they're talking, chatting away. The minute I go downstairs and fire up that projector and I start pulling out them screens, now they start disappearing out of the room one by one. Oh, they don't want to be in there for that one. Stick around. Let's see how many of you stick around and you explain to me why a tablecloth is matching this product. I like this one right here. This one's actually pretty nice. Now we have three shades of the Theater Max. When Crow's product gets here, well, we have to wait a while first. We have to wait for things to calm down because right now he's a bit on alert right now. Now I already showed him videos of the Raven already. And he left the chat room. He refused to respond back. I'll show you the text messages. I just sent them over to him. I sent him the video. When he saw the Raven, he left the room. You know why? Because he knows that he can't compete with that blackout cloth. Or whatever it is. Mm. 
do 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 Look at that. We have three different shades of this product. Three different shades. We have a darker version of it, a mid gray, and now we have exact. What's wrong? Stay in the room. What's wrong? Stay in the room. Oh. You know what I do? Sometimes I sit there and we break it down. I like to break things down. Break it down so that we can see exactly what you're getting. Break it down. Break it down, break it down, break it down. Theater Max. We're going to call it Theater Max 1.0. So now we got to have three of these. We got three of these in three different shades now. We'll add all these to the site today. Actually, we'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> we got it. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Mine now. This is mine. What do we call it? It's mine. It belongs to me now. He can't claim the product at the end of the day because he can't do the demonstration to back his product. It is ours now. I told you, man, I've been making this stuff for years. Many, many years. This is ours now. We got it. I figured it had to be somewhere in there. We got it. We got this product. And we're going to call it now. It's a free ingredient now. Because I don't need it. See how fast it took us to figure it out? It took a bit to break it down, but we figured it out. It took three of them to knock it out. We got it. There it is. These are the different ones we just went through. This one, this one, and this one. Now we got it in three different shades that we can sell it in. So... What we're going to do with this one is we're going to have it. We're going to break this shop. This one we done a little bit different. We're going to have all three ingredients under this one cart for this one for the website. And this is going to be called the Theater Max 1.0. We're going to have a dark. This is the darker version right here. Right here. That's the darker version. That right there is the one with the two. And this is the one with the one. I can tell by the different shades. That's the match right there. That's the one we need it right there. Let me bring this one downstairs. We don't need your Cinemax. We, well, actually, we're going to order a Cinemax. We need to match it. That's all we need to do is match it. And that's it. But it's a match. And at the end of the day, if Crow thinks we're wrong, then just do the demonstration yourself. You got the product over there, right? Then all you have to do is match it with what we have over here with the ingredients she gave you. If you don't do the demonstration, it's ours. We can call it whatever you want. And at the end of the day, like I said, we can post it for free. And if he sits there and he argues about it, saying it's not my product, what can you do? At the end of the day, you can't back it. That's like claiming to be the fastest runner in the world, but you don't want to back it up. Oh, what's that, Seinfeld? I think it was Seinfeld on that one. Let's get ourselves a um, set up here. Now, this right here is the Raven. Evermore. Evermore. Large screen you're seeing is a black phantom technology. All right. Sony 4K demonstrations. 
getting that from YouTube. Don't screen it like this. I know it. Because every demonstration I've seen on your customers, every last one of you guys are in the dark. You're not in this kind of lighting. Your screens wouldn't survive down here. This is not a max out zone down here. So I've watched your customer demonstrations. They all sit in the dark. Show me one demonstration with this much light. You can't produce down here. This is how y'all come up. With that tannish look to it. Let's see how bright a phantom can get. Are we not talking trash now? Wait, let's see how dark my screen is for a minute. Let's make sure my screen is that dark. Let me walk in front of it for a minute. That's pretty dark, right? That's a black screen, right? It's black, right? Just want to make sure. I want to make sure. Just want to make sure. Just want to make sure. Crow boys talk a lot of trash. The difference between me and you, I back mine up. I can back everything up. Back it up. But y'all just come here and do this all day. Don't back nothing up up. Let's check the screen one more time. I want to make sure this screen is actually black. Let's just do it one more time. Because remember, this screen is supposed to be, as Crow's review, the product can't. Oh, don't leave the room. Don't leave the room, cowards. Come on, bring it back in here. You talk that trash, back it up. Now, like I said, Crow said in his video demonstration that the technology we have here doesn't produce a white level, right? That's what he said, right? So by his professional opinion, by a person who can't back up his own screen paint products, what's going on here? Let's move away again. Let's just make sure. I want to make sure we, we're looking at this correctly because I'm pretty sure this, this is a black screen, right? Am I right? It's black, right? I think it is black. This is embarrassing. Really embarrassing. You guys lucky you don't do this for a living. I would crush your companies. Easily. Lock your shopping carts up. They'll never open up again. You're lucky you don't make screen paint products. Can you imagine going toe-to-toe -to -toe with me in this? I'd have your product down there in a hot second. I'd wipe it out in minutes. I have to design screens to throw against my own screen. Because we don't get enough of a challenge. Not cut corners. None of that nonsense. I have to design screens to throw against my own technology. We can't even find certified screens enough to take, take on a phantom. I sat there and went into that freaking rant. Yeah, I was tired of it. I'm tired of doing the same demonstrations over and over again because our technology is literally that good. We blow everything out of the water. I got technology sitting over there at 1%. That's a 1% technology over there. We just morning went through three set, went to oh, man, it certifies that screen just ate through. And y'all worrying about black and white paint at the end of the day. Are you kidding me? We use that stuff for primer. And y'all coming here talking about your products, your screens, and whatever, please give me a break. Start a company so I can crush you, put out a business for you real quick. Put you out of your misery. you to show us nothing at the end of the day. Start a business. Please do. I'll crush it just like that. That fast. You think I'm joking. I can build out a product in less than eight minutes, and we've done it on camera. That's what legends are. Eight minutes it took to develop a legend. We did it behind a camera, and it took out four certifiers right from the door. That's why they got the name Legend. I'm going to bring out a legend tomorrow. We're going to bring out a legend tomorrow. And y'all talking about, we got the lights on mine. We don't even have the lights off yet. Oh, my goodness. Let's get Crow's product up here. We got to see this. Do, 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 do. Crow, please kill me. You ready for this? I mean, you're talking all this trash. I'm not sure you would be ready for this. You ready for this? All right, remember, you asked for it. Quote the raving evermore. Oh, you want to see my logo for my logo too? My raving? It's freaking banging too. I like my logo. Oh, it's pretty hot. Let me see. 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 Let me see.
see. I can't find it. Because, you know, we got to get that best of the best. This is best of the best. Remember? Best of the best. How many screen paint mixed blends have we made? We made quite a lot of them. Right? We have to hunt screens down for a phantom, for this phantom technology. Hunt them down to figure out what we can get to go against the screen. In a second, I'm bored of putting screens against phantom. I really am. Oh. Why are you not talking? See, when I'm making paint, you're running your mouth and talking trash. Then we get down here in the real deal, now you're quiet. Where, where, where's nobody talking now? I thought not. I told you I put a binky in your mouth at the end of the day. This is your binky right here. I told you I put a binky in your mouth and shut you up. Did I not say that? This is your binky. Back your product at the end of the day. Or the Raven, pretty much we're going to keep launching this thing from form site to form site to form site to form site to form site. This is marketed towards your customers only. This is to show your customers at the end of the day how much of a scammer and a fake that you are. Now, people say, oh, well, he's upset about No, we couldn't care less about that. Crow does that stuff all the time. We told you on the Wetchman call that the address didn't look right. Something was going to go wrong. We told Jeff in the door. That's nothing. Crow does that stuff all the time. He did that with the UB mix way back. We were supposed to get the Metallica mix. He's under the UB mix. That's nothing new. And on top of that, they got multiple cancellations from him. So, like, we didn't see it coming. All right? But the important thing is that I'm going to have my money back on my account. Right? And the Raven now is born. Because of all that, he has to be punished for it. So now that's why we have the Raven. So the Raven does exactly the same thing Crow products does. And it does an ultra short throw, too. It's amazing on ultra short throw. But it does the same thing. So at the end of the day, instead of the customer going to Crows and paying $80 for a paint or $89 for a paint, they can just go get this service over here at Amazon and no painting required. And you know, it's actually waterproof and water beads off of it. Yeah, it does. I test something. It's pretty cool. And you can basically build a screen as big as you want. The biggest they make this in, as you see the giant size screen behind you, is around 60 by 159 for $21. Yep. Yeah. Hmm. Let's go back a little farther than this. This is why I'm here. This is why I'm all in. You know what's even more interesting? Look at the technology on the Phantom. Woo! It's a beautiful what? There. You can see why he had no choice but to send us with that black paint. He can't let his screen paint lay against this technology. I told you, screen would destroy his product with no problem. I felt, at, in the middle of the demonstration, I felt bad for this guy, man, because I knew when his product got there, he was going to get wrecked down here. And I sat there and said, when I was doing the retro screen, I was like, look, man, I really don't want to do this to his product at the end of the day. I felt sorry for him because his product was going to do extremely bad down here. Felt bad for him. At one point, I thought we might refuse to order when it come through. Try to cut him a break. But as you can see, he does the same dirty tactics. Even when you try to give Crow a chance, he does the same dirty tactics. But now, boy, you, you pretty much got yourself in some really heated water. Because now, like I said, on the forum site, everybody wants to talk about this Raven. What is Raven? What is Raven? What's Raven? What's Raven? Where's the link to Raven? Can we get Raven? So and so and so. Yeah, your customers. We're going to get all your customers from you. All of them. Let's go back and have a check of this again. Now, for those of you who want the best for the projector set up, the more advanced technology, we have Phantom. And for those of you who just want, eh, uh, uh, this, that's pretty much, you got that. Look how bad that is. Now, see, it's a shame. Here's the thing. When I come in here and 
you know, we get fake products that get sent to us and all that dumb nonsense, right? At the end of the day, you know, when people want to talk trash about our work and how hard we work and everything, we're supposed to be scammers. We're supposed to be this, that, and the other. But when we come in and back our product up, we come in and we crush you guys in the process, then you guys get mad and want to get upset. You can't back your products up, and all you want to do is get mad and get upset. That's what you want to do. Bunch of freaking crybabies at the end of the day. I'm tired of dealing with you jerkers. Grow the freak up. Be a man for once in your life. Y'all come here crying all the time. Every time we come here, blow your product out of the water. What do y'all do? Y'all cry about it. Can't even back up your product. And because you get blown out of the water, the first thing you do is you start crying and whining. You're a bunch of typical freaking Karens. That's what you are at the end of the day. You want to be in this business, but well, this ain't the kind of business for Karens. Because in this business, your product will get tested and tested and tested and tested and tested. No one's going to hold your hand in this business. Either you got it or you don't. That's how it works out. Some of you wouldn't even survive the military. Probably be murdered on the first day. Unbelievable. Never seen such a freaking... When I was coming up, we didn't have Karens. They didn't exist. Good gracious. You did your job, you got it done. It was the end of it. No if, ands, or buts. Not this whiny, crony nonsense. You're coming to here, running your mouths, talking all this trash. We can back our product at 100%, which we're doing downstairs. Matching this product to a tablecloth. Tell you to back it up. Give you the information provided to back the product up. None of y'all back it up. And then you want to come in and you want to whine and cry and get upset with us because we can back our product up. At the end of the day, I'm not seeing any videos. I'm not seeing any demonstrations. All I'm hearing is a bunch of people flapping their gums about this, that, and the other, and not backing it up. You people remind me of people when you go to a sports bar, and it's that one individual talks all this trash about this losing team. And he talks about their stats and this, that, and the other. We all know that individual. And the team hasn't won a game since God knows how long. But the one game they did win, he just blows it way out of proportion. Just goes on and on and on and on and on. And they haven't won anything new whatsoever. And the first new stat of your mouth that sets them off, name, the first, name, name one game that you won since this year or last year, the year before that. And they just go. That's what you guys remind me of. That particular person. Look, at the end of the day, if he can't back his products, they can call his products anything he wants. Anybody right now on YouTube can collect those um, um, paints that we have and they can start selling them and making money off of them. Right now they can. Because he can't back it. Can you say you can make a phantom? <laughs> Knock yourself out. I'd like to see you do it. Can't back a phantom because you know why? You don't want to go through the 17 test demonstrations that a phantom just went through because at the end of the day, you ain't got the confidence level to push it. There you go. But at the end of the day, anyone can copy these ingredients and make their own screen paints. Add a little bit of this, add a little bit of that, and make a little profit, make a little money on the end. As long as you keep your mouth shut and you be quiet and basically stay under the radar so you don't have people like me pop up on you, then you're good. You can make a little money on the side. These are ingredients that we made tons of money off of. You do the same thing he's doing. Except for at the end of the day, I would suggest you backing it up at the end of the day. Try to back some of it up at least. And at the end of the day, I couldn't care less. If I seen somebody making one of these ingredients and say, hey, I got so-and-so and so, so-and-so and so, hey, more power to you. Make some money. Be happy. But if you're going to basically stick my name into it and try to use me as a form of a springboard, I'm going to crush you in the process. Do your best to mind your own business, make your money, leave me be. As we explained, same thing with Parte. Parte jumped on that bandwagon with Crow, want to start running his mouth about this, that, and the other. Where did that put him at? This man got every last shopping cart locked. He can't open up a shopping cart because he's terrified that one of us is going to buy from him and bring it down here for testing. All right, then. There you go. All right. Trying to give you a little bit of freedom. I really did try to give you a little freedom. Right there. I try my hardest sometimes, but... I guess I don't try to give y'all that benefit of the doubt sometimes. What do you do? Don't get mad at me because I do what I need to do. Just lost your privileges.
Now, at the end of the day, as I said before, you know, now you have to listen. And you can leave if you want. I don't make a difference. I don't care. This video is going to be posted everywhere. Right now, the form site is waiting for me to get done with this because they want to check this video out next. The comments are still there. We're going to activate them. Actually, you know, I record your comments. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, you know, your comments are recorded, right? They go to another system, so that way we can post them into the, in the room. You know that, right? We're actually designing a site around your code voice. I mean, this man wanted to change his channel and took it down and came back in and some microprocessing software, whatever nonsense, that craziness was. And this is what you put your credit cards into at the end of the day. At the end of the day, people have to understand the money's going to be over my back on my account. The paint's going to go back to him. Someone's going to place the order for us months down the line after he forgets about it. It'll be on my kitchen table. We'll take it downstairs. We'll do the test. All that effort he did for nothing. Till then, at the, till then, we'll launch the other two technologies. They'll take the make, we'll make plenty of money off of it. Next year, we'll be going mainstream offline. We'll have stores and everything set up to push our commercialized products on corporate. And he'll still be in his apartment doing the same dumb stuff over and over again. That's what's going to happen. That's the outcome. Because he can't back his product up at the end of the day. And we've already sparked curiosity. Because there are people out there that want to know why he won't do the test. Like someone's going to slide their credit card over to him now, knowing he can't back his product up. And you can do the same thing with a tablecloth. See, that's what happens. Now, let's get those screens we just painted and let's take them downstairs and see what happens. So we know that was, most of that was Crow in there carrying on and acting up. He's upset right now. When he acts up like that, that means that means we're getting closer. That's how I know. Also, too, by the way, he, he acts up. When he, more and more he comes in the room, the bigger those cap letters start coming in. That means at the end of the day, that is Crow getting upset, as I said before, because we're getting closer to his product. And we'll have all of them in the day. And we know this is Parte. This is Parte at the bottom. Hello, Parte. How you doing, buddy? When are you going to open up some of them shopping carts, man, so I can get at that paint you got over there? You're going to make it possible for me to get some of that paint, man? Hopefully, by the end of the year, can we get one of them at least? I mean, open up one shopping cart. You had samples, but you gave us back our money. We didn't want our money back. We just wanted the screen. So, so the paint, that's all we wanted. So if I go check on your site right now, am I going to see an open shopping cart? Or your shopping cart still going to be closed? So if I check right now my computer. So let me check on my computer. I'm going to go to your site right now. I'm going to see if your shopping carts are open. Let's see if we can get some of that paint from you today, if it's possible. Look at Crow's product right here. $80. Isn't this, this is the Metallica mix, right? That's the Metallica mix right there, right? Look how old the cans are. He didn't even update the freaking, the freaking um, picture. These are old pictures, man. These are old pictures. That's old, old, old pictures. That's the Metallica 2.0. That's the one we showed you in the demonstration. That's Metallica 2.0 right there. That's $80 right there. So like I said, at the end of the day, y'all want to get mad, y'all want to rant at us, but y'all don't want to back it up. That's what we've been asking to do. I said in every demonstration, I'm going to start getting me a t-shirt that says back it up. Where is, let me see, I need that, uh, whatchamacallit, the other cheap, oh, my phone's done too, let me see. No, charge is good, I need to figure out where everything phone is at. Oh, I gotta get the other charge real quick. Man, it's sad, man, it's real sad. Can't even back your products up at the end of the day. All we requested. But let, let that be, let that be my product that I don't back up at the end of the day. It'd be no end to it whatsoever. Y'all be calling me all kinds of stuff under the, under the book. Oh, he's this. Oh, he's that. He's that. So and so and so. He can't back his product up. So and so and so. Yeah, let it be me. So what's the problem? Is it because I'm African American? Could that be it? Because that was brought up a few times in a few of the form sites. I hope it ain't that.
So let me explain something to you. Because somebody said something stupid. Number one, license to carry. Number two, military train. Be my guest. I need target practice anyway. This old neighborhood up in here, all off duty cops, bounty hunters, the whole strip. You'd be surprised what runs down here. But like I said, at the end of the day, if you get capped off, they can't touch me. Just let you know. All my stuff is registered. Now what's going on here, people? What's the problem? Look at the screen we got. Look at our technology. Isn't that the screen paint we just made? Yeah, where's that lighter version too? That came out real nice. Let's get that lighter version. I want to see the contrast on that one. You want to see light something now? <sighs> the raven. So let me get this straight. Half of y'all was in the room ranting and carrying on. Upset and angry. Let me get you straight. This product is on your wall, ain't it? I guarantee you got a screen print on your wall. Why would you else would you come in here to rant and carry on? Get back, you're trying to back the product, right? Well, look, at the end of the day, this is what you need to do. Don't rant. Don't carry on. The links are right there. We got all the information in there for you. Plenty of information in there for you. Make the products live. Don't forget to add my name to it too, if so I can see it. So we can track it down. Don't forget that. Put my name next to it. So that way we can come track it down and post it on our form site. Are you willing to do it? Or are you willing not to do it? See, it's a different story when you come in here and run your mouth. It's another story when I tell you to post it and expose yourself. You don't want to expose yourself because at the end of the day, everybody's going to look at you like the town idiot. Because you came in a room running your mouth talking all this trash and you can't back it up. Because if not, we would have tracked down a video by now. We haven't tracked anything down. Not one demonstration in a month and a half on showing the products. Not one. So where are your demonstrations at? Oh, I should be doing this with lights out. I keep forgetting. We got black technology. We're designed to be used in fully lit environments. Y'all can't do that. So that's not fair. I'm sorry about that. Let me put this in a setting that you guys can understand. There we go. That works out much better for you, does it not? This is something that crew boys can understand. Being in the dark, GPS in the coffee table, trying to figure out what's actually going to brush your kneecaps on it. Look at the raven. Can't look at the raven, can you? Because your eyes are staring at my black screen right now. I know you are staring at my black screen. You're staring at it. You're like, good gracious, look at... Look at the red levels on that. That's insane. I know you're staring at my black screen. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> oh, man. This is a hilarious day.
Sorry about that. I'm gonna bring up Seth for a minute. No, Pro Boys, you understand in the day. I know you watch this. Pro Boys support this nonsense and they support a scammer, and they do. You're part of the problem, that's what you are. You know, this individual can't back his products, and you know that. You know, his product basically matches a lot of stuff we have over here. So if he's a scammer, you are basically part of the scamming. That's what you are at the end of the day. Because at the end of the day, if the product didn't do what it's supposed to do, we would have pulled up a demonstration by now of one of you guys posting anything of one of these mixes that we made showing a difference. And we haven't gotten anything in a month, in a couple of weeks. And trust me, we have been searching. So the simple fact that you're not posting anything and he's not posting anything clearly shows that the product is a scam. And we do the same thing with sheets and pillowcases and everyday gray and white mixtures. And we gave him the opportunity to go in and make the product himself multiple times and he refuses to do so. So what is the excuse? Why won't he do it? But when we give you the option to come in and speak your mind, you act like little adolescents, little kids at the end of the day. You're grown men and women. This account, we set up right here when I set this room up, they were set for adults only. Did you know that? Yeah, you have to be 18 to be in this room. So these are grown men and women in here acting like this. At the end of the day, yeah, that, that tells me exactly what kind of intelligent level at the end of the day where he basically, people he collect at the end of the day for his customers. Now, I can't say all of them. Honestly, I've met some crow boys that came in here that were quite polite, very nice. But majority of y'all, y'all make them look bad at the end of the day. The ones that do have common sense, the ones that do can use some kind of rational kind of uh, uh, human-like behavior, you make them look bad at the end of the day. Because I've met a few of them, and a few of them basically I've had conversations. Matter of fact, one of the crow boys is responsible for the fact that I had the uh, in-focus projector upstairs. Because he came into a room, we had a conversation, we were talking, he said, well, I'm not like that, so-and-so, and so I'm just here to see what's going on. Because I came at him and attacked him first, and he was very polite. So I said, my fault, I apologize, so and so and so. So me and him got to talking in the room. He says, well, I was talking about different projectors. I was talking about it in focus. He said, well, I got it in focus in the house. I only paid about 50 bucks for it. I said, really? That's only paid 50 bucks for it? He said, yeah. And I, he was telling me the one that has the light up ring on it. That's the one that I wanted because they wanted a little more for it. He said, all you do is go to so and so and so and you can pick it up. And sure enough, he was right. I picked it up. I got it upstairs in my room. So I learned something, you know, from that particular person who came. He was a very nice individual. But y'all make them look bad. Y'all do. Because I can't say all of them are like that. I do apologize, but I'm saying all of them. They're all not like that. Some of them are very nice. But like I said, the ones that come in and carry on, you make them look bad at the end of the day. Because you don't know how to carry yourself. And if some of y'all have kids. Y'all get up in the morning. Y'all tuck your kids in and stuff like that. Y'all parents at the end of the day, and this is how you act at the end of the day. How are you going to scold your child and tell your child how to act right at the end of the day if you acting like this on YouTube? That's sad. Definitely sad at the end of the day. This is the mix we made right here with the, um, this is the one we made right here with the uh, one. This is the one, uh, what is it? Uh, one tablespoon of black paint. This is the one I like the most out of all of them. I like this one the most. What the heck is this? What the frick is Danny Love? Okay, this is why you don't walk away from remote control in your, in your pocket. Because you're getting subjected to this. Let me see. I think I took it upstairs. You know what I mean? Probably trapped and lifted upstairs. You know, like it's down here. Like. Ah. The fact that when you come on my channel, I gotta go back upstairs. Charging now, man, you took ten steps upstairs. Upstairs, down. Down with you. Upstairs. And now I'm charging now. This came from Christmas, learning about gambling, drugs, and prostitution. Oh, 
I gotta put a charging system downstairs and one upstairs. Make my life a little easier. Man, I'll be jogging the stairs, man. There we go. But you know, y'all come in here at the end of the day, man. Before you start talking trash, look at my intro video. Take a look at that. And my intro video shows my product displayed on a screen over a thousand inches. But look at that before you come in here and start talking about my product. Then you look at everybody's intro video when you go into theirs. That video alone right there speaks for itself. They were so happy with that product, they made us a video for us. They were so happy. I've never seen any of their products displayed on the screen that big with that much lighting. Now one time, have I ever seen it? Well, this is that one right there. I like the bright colors. I gotta back my product. And that's gonna get to the point. You know what? Honestly, from here on in, I don't care. I don't gotta back my product. Y'all gotta back y'alls. We ain't backing Jack no more for y'all no more. We've done it already. I've done enough demonstrations to literally choke a dinosaur. Yeah, a dinosaur. We got archives on just about everything we're doing right now. This right here alone, we can make this a challenge. So what's the point? We're not backing anything up no more. We're done. You guys have to back your work from now on. So then we're promoting the, um, the raven. We've got two versions. Well, we can't promote the black raven because you don't want to go near that thing. That thing just has some really ugly colors. Let's do this one right here. Let me get this straight. In the demonstration we did this screen, our screen was supposed to come up black. Huh. Not seeing it. Not even next to the raven. You seeing it by any chance? I'm not seeing it. Oh well, let's just move on. Let me let's get close. Let's see. If if it does the same thing in his demonstrations where he shows this black screen in the middle. See we scroll at the end of the day. On top of that, keep in mind, we can use this against you in court. You know that, right? Oh, man, you give us so much evidence. I can't wait to go to court, Nabel, man. I'm going to crow. I thought about it, man. I'm taking everything from you, man. Everything from you. I'm going to take it all from you. At the end of the day, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna take it all. You need it, man. You need it. You need, you need a reality check. You do. You do. We're going to take it all from you. That right there alone, man, the fraud, man, the stuff that you've been doing, man, just building this case, man, against you, man. You need it, man. You do. At the end of the day, you need to watch a repo man come in and take all your stuff out, put it into a truck, and drive off with it. That's what you need to go through. You need that. You need it. I'm going to enjoy this lawsuit. I really am. I'm going to smile at you in court. I'm going to sit right across the room and smile at you the whole entire time. You look at my attorneys all smiling right back at you. How you doing? If I were you, I would stop buying stuff right now. I would suggest to stop buying stuff. Try to store it someplace else, because you're going to have to. If you hide it, we're going to find it. Look at the trouble you got yourself into. Look at that. If I went in the courtroom right now, and I said, look, he's, this is the video of Jamie Fernando showing our product coming up this dark. And this is our product right here. I could paint this screen in the courtroom and throw up anything against it. Do you know how bad that's going to be for you in court? 
you're going to have to be able to show that that screen right there can't produce has to produce the same image you showed in your video. And if you can't, it's two hundred fifty thousand dollars lawsuit. I'm gonna ask for more money. We know you can't pay. It's not what you can't make. I want to put a heavy enough. I want a half a million dollar lien if you if I could. If I could put a half a million dollar lien, I would try to. But you'll never be able to pay it off anyway. That stuff will bounce over to you, your, your, everybody, anybody in your family. It's going to connect to. You want it on yourself. Remember. Look at that. Just, just, just. I want you, crow boys, look at that. Just look at that screen. Just look at that. Hmm. I need a picture of that. Try to be merciful. Try to give you a break, but this is an individual who can't learn. I said, crow can't learn. That's what he is. He can't. I used to think that maybe there's like something different about him. He reminds me of Newman from Seinfeld. It's just pure evil. That's pretty much what he is, man. At the end of the day, I don't think there's not a good side of him anywhere, anywhere. But you're gonna learn today, boy. I can't wait. Nothing hurts a man more than basically taking away his finances from him, stripping him clean from everything. That's what's gonna hurt you the most. It's going to be bad, man. It's going to be bad. Just when you try to avoid having your Cinemax come down here, you can't escape this. This is going to be pretty bad for you. I wish I could wish you well, but I can't. I know the outcome of it. You're going to have to be able to show that our product did exactly what happened in your demonstrations. On top of that, you have 13 violations against my copyrights. That's going to be pretty bad. I don't know. Ain't my problem. Ugh. You try to explain to your wife why they're emptying out your house at the end of the day. Because you have a $250,000 judgment over top of your head because you lost a court case because you couldn't back up the theory that the product that we have basically comes out so dark that people can't see it. You try to explain to them about that one. We can go on and share income tax check. Did you know that? The fines that you'll have to pay, they're pretty much going to go through a lot of your finances. Real quick, real fast. Because you're going to have to pay us a certain amount of money every single month. Every month. That's one of the requests from the judge. It'll go to the charity of my choice. That's what it's going to go to. And if you miss one payment, one single payment, I will take the judgment down to the sheriff's department and I'll execute judgment on your property. That's why we're staring at that demonstration right This is a demonstration I've seen multiple times in your demonstrations showing this black screen supposed to be ours. And this is going to say this individual at the end of the day deserves what he gets at the end of the day. He does. Shiesty, dirty, sneaky, that's what he is. And like I said, we all sat there and watched the recording of the transaction and everything. But well, we knew Crow was going to do something dirty. Hey, come on. If he if that paint got here intact, literally. That would have been the miracle of all miracles that would have actually happened. Mind you, we got 15 cancellations from him. And this is after, before, you know, after he sent us an email telling us to buy directly from him. So not a person you can actually trust at the end of the day. I'm not trying to be rude here, man, but I'm going to tell you something like it. I'm trying to be as truthful as possible with you. This lawsuit is going to put a strain on your marriage. You think so? It's, it is. Finance, money and all that? Yeah, it's going to put a strain on it. But you put yourself in a situation, man. Even at the end of the day, man, where I try to just think like, okay, can I cannot turn the cheek on this fellow? But every time I try to turn the cheek on you, do something even more dis disrespectful. And for those who want to come and say, oh, but you're doing, yeah, I'm doing this to his product at the end of the day. Because he can't back his product. You have to be the back. If somebody did it to me, I have to back my product 100%. So if I can come in here and do it, what's the excuse that he can't do it? What's the problem, people? I'm getting tired of blowing out your products, man. Your type products are the same bull crap every time we bring it down here. The same nonsense. The same gray and black paint. We know what it is when it gets down here. I used to develop and make this stuff. 
It's the same stupid nonsense over and over again. We look at when you open up your containers, you're all the same shade thrown you off by a different, couple of different shades of black. I can make your product just by looking at it on the screen. This product's going up on the website today. I don't want to waste no time on this. That's the screen we just painted in right there. Same crap, same crap, every single time. No matter how you mix it, how you paint it, how you make it, it's the same crap. Told you. One teaspoon in it, two teaspoons, three spoons. All his products match. Do you know that? All those different screen paints he claims that he's making, he's telling they all match. They're only off by one slight slim shade of color. That's it. The Cinemax looks exactly like the Metallica. The Metallica looks exactly like the Perso. They all look the same. They all react the same way. Metallica mix? The mix we just made. Personal mix? Metallica mix. It all matches. That's why you think he did the demonstration we had all his products together. They all blended in together. All of them, literally, all blended in together. Sony 4K demonstrations. I like to go back on the magic, man. I like this demonstration right there. Look at this mess, man. And you're like, oh, there's a difference. There is no difference. You see the demonstration he did with two of his mixes side by side? I was like, are you kidding me? They blended right into each other, but there's a difference. Show me where there's a difference. And if I'm sitting back at a good maybe 13 feet, I'm not going to notice the difference between those two screens at the bottom. Look at this. That is freaking messed up. Squarespace is everything. Voila! Everything. And they blend it into the fabric too. Good gracious. Boy, you guys got scammed on so many levels, it's not even funny. That is messed up. That's messed up. That's the other screen we painted. Here's the darker one. You know the white edges around the screen? That's the actual box that we didn't cover. That's why that's brighter. Yeah, you guys got scammed, fleeced, whatever you want to call it, that's what you got. We just sat there and made one screen paint out of five, one screen paint out of two, one screen paint out of one, put that against the product product has over here, and you do know there's two other screens that are sitting up there too that are all blended into one big screen. You got scammed. At the end of the day, that's what you got. That's why if you tell him to put all his products together, he'll go, look, there's a slight difference here. No, buddy, there is no slight difference. There's no difference between day and night. Wow, man.
Wait, 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 wait. Let's just make this even more interesting. Let's just take this one off of here and let's stick this one down here over top this screen right here. That's the screen we just painted a few minutes ago. Let's stick the person on um, which one called mix right down on top of that screen right there. See right there, right there on top of it, right on top of it. Can you tell which one it is? It's this one right here that we use with our tape over there. Talk about getting burnt. And meanwhile, we got a tablecloth blended into the rest of them. And at the end of the day, you jerkers want to get mad at me, honestly? Yeah, right. That is unbelievable. Yeah, get a look at that. Get a gander of that. So you're watching a sheet. Well, this is our technology over there, our black technology. But you're watching a, a, a tablecloth, two of its screens up here, and the three we made upstairs in the kitchen just a few minutes ago. And they all blended together. And they're all made differently, including the ones he made up here himself. So y'all explain that to me at the end of the day. Well, wait, Mr. Burr, you don't understand. It's different. It's No, it isn't different. Y'all got fleeced. Y'all got fleeced at the end of the day. That's why I said we can make your product crow. From now on, we're making all your products from here on in. That's it. And we just matched your. We, oh my goodness, man! It's just no way to explain it, man. That's it. That's the new. That's the new. Um, Theater Max. We're renaming your product. Theater Max, uh, 1.0. That's what we're gonna call it because it doesn't deserve anything like that. It just matched your product with no problem whatsoever. And if you sit there and say, "Oh, but that's not the Cinemax," then guess what? Do me a favor. Copy down the ingredients we just posted. We're going to post in a few minutes, and then go in and make it and put it against your product. And while you're at it, do all of them at the same time. If you're going to do one, do the whole shebang and do the fabric. We'll post everything up there. I'll put the ingredients how we made it and do it from there. If he doesn't do it, then guess what? We want to call it where we want to call it, and we're just going to give it to you for free. You all sort it out from there. That is just really sad right there. At least with the certified screens, we can see a difference in those, but this right here, you can't see Jack. Tomorrow I'm making this stuff blindfolded. I wonder if I make this blindfolded, how close could I come to it again? Now we got three different versions of our Theater Max. This one on this side is darker, then we have a mid and we have a light. Mm. Man, I'm telling you, this is just the saddest thing I've ever seen in my life. And that's the one we made. That's the darker version of the um, the uh, theater um, theater max. That's the lighter version, and that's the mid. Now, you want to see something? I'm going to pause right here for a minute. There's Crow's screen right there. That's the one we made upstairs a few minutes ago. Your Cinemax looks exactly like this screen right here. And that one is blended into your Metallica mix. Your Metallica mix and personal mix look exactly the same. Oh man, you got fleeced, fleeced. All right, I'm gonna relabel. I'm, I'm making labels for my. This is my new lineup. We're not even gonna put the digital label. We're gonna put our own labels on it. So we're making our own labels for these own containers right here. This is Theater Max 1.0. If you want to complain and say, "Hey, it's not his product," then guess what? Back it up. 
Matter of fact, I might even put that on the side of the label. And if, other, if Crow can't back it up, then it belongs to us. Something we were going to put on there. But then the date is mine now. Because you can't back it up. That is really, really sad right there. <sighs> wow, man. How long have you been stealing from your customers? Mm. How many years have you been stealing from your customers, bro? Now, once we get the money back on our account, we'll show you how to override that whole policy as on this website about how you can't get your money back. You can get your money back, trust me. Just remember, don't open the containers. When you open them up, the sensors see through. Don't open them up. Because you open up them bad boys up, then automatically, yeah, you find a forfeit on that one. Even I know you forfeit on that one. So Crow's gonna get his money, if, um, we're gonna get our money back, his product is gonna be shipped back to him. So that's why we're getting ready to set that up. And then meanwhile, like I said, do not, or if you're gonna, I mean, wait, don't even order at all. What the heck am I talking about? Don't even order at all. Just make what we got here. That's all at the end of the day. And if not, if you're not, you don't like the paint and the paint is not your thing, then you got the Raven. Can't even see contrast in the dark. You see that contrast? I don't even pick up. But at the end of the day, like I said, at least you don't have to sit there and spend like eighty bucks on a product. At the end of the day, that you, that the person can't back it. Well, I'm get that. I want that other one instead. I want this one right here. So I'm gonna get up tomorrow morning. We got to do a couple of tests on the new certified screen over there. Get that ready over there. And then we're going to play with the Legends a little bit. I want to play with that pink unicorn, too. That's always pretty fun to mess around with. Mess around with that for a little bit. And then we'll get back to this whole Raven thing. Because I got tomorrow morning, I got to be on forum sites with this stuff. We have to do uh, four pre-recorded videos. One has to be done on the Ultra Short Throw, showing side by side. So we can push people and customers that are basically buying from him to go get the Raven instead. Because technically, at the end of the day, I mean, I do like doing the screen paint mixes and stuff like that. But... I mean, for me personally, I like doing three mixes, but on his end, the, the stuff he works with, man, I, I hate working with that stuff, man. That takes me back to my old years of working with that pasty mess. But anyway, um, as I said before, you know, when we have to do those tests against this product and we have to make those products, I can't stand working with that stuff. But this right here, man, this, this surface right here, I'd have never thought this thing would have blended that good. Like, never would have thought, because we, we use these to go against our own screens. That's why we got them. You know what I mean? I'm always looking for some different product to throw against a Phantom. And when I took it out, I'm looking at it like it's the same color as the screen paint. I'm thinking, what were the odds of this actually matching one of the screen paints? And sure enough, there it is. Match with no problem whatsoever. And this is a lot easier for the customer because at the end of the day, his customers don't have to worry about painting and all that nonsense. You just take it out, staple it to the frame, and you're done. That's it. Don't even need an expensive projector. So we're not over embellishing with this expensive projector behind us. You're getting this image from a cheap projector. Hmm. But at the end of the day, some people don't want to go near this. And I'll tell you why I don't want to because it can't pull contrast levels. It can't pull color correctly. And next to a black screen, it's going to have issues. You want that OLED look to it, that new look. I like the OLED screen that you produce now. LG Beta Fish. Getting that from YouTube. On top of that, you gotta be in the dark to use it. I mean, 
Can't be in the light with that screen. It ain't gonna work. It'll wash out. Only black screens have that capability. A demonstration for Crow's customers for you guys. Sorry, your comments are going to be blocked because you guys are not accurate. Some of you are not accurate, but we got a demonstration for you guys, strictly for you guys, to help you save some money. She's trying to help you at the end of the day save some money. Just imagine, like I said, if he had figured this out before us and found out this product did this, he would have marketed this product, made a ton of money off of it, and scammed the daylights out of y'all for it. And said, look at this product, look what it does, so and so and so. You don't have to paint, you don't have to do this. He'd have had a whole slogan behind it. You don't gotta paint, do that, so and so and so. Just wrap it around your screen. And you'd have been buying an everyday tablecloth with no proof behind it on what it was. And he would have been scamming y'all, just like he did y'all with the paint. So second, we found it, and we gave it to you for free. We'll show you how to do it. Day. If you're not handy with a saw and you don't know how to work a saw, guess what? The screen right here was already covered. I just stapled it over. So you can just get yourself a piece of 4 by 8 piece of um, panel wood from Home Depot and just staple it right over top of it. That's it. That's what I did with this right here. So you don't have to build a frame if you don't want to. I'm pretty sure it's going to come out looking better than a piece of wood. the ingredients down for this stuff right now for you guys. We're done here. There's nothing more I can show you on that one. We're done here. It is what it is. It matches as you can see. And even with the paints we made. So we're going to call the other product uh, Theater Max. Uh, we're going to call it a Theater Max. That's what we're going to call it. And uh, we're going to basically uh, put the ingredients up. Now mind, if you want to add some silver to it, you can. If you want to add some glitter to it, you can. You know what I mean? It's up to you what you want to put in it. But that's just the base. If it was me, honestly, at the end of the day, what I would do, I would probably put about four in each one. Four tablespoons of silver paint. That's what I would do if it was me. And it's up to you if you want to do that or not. You know what? I'm gonna do you guys a favor. Like I said, I, I don't. The other guys that came in, they were just carrying on an act. They don't have to act right. We, we don't. We, we know who they are. They're gross people. We're gonna give you that ingredients now on how to make that ultimate paint. Like I said. So, like I said, it's real simple. Hold on for a minute. Your base is not going to be. I told you before. I actually mentioned this quite a few times, but I don't know if you were listening. Your base is not going to be black paint, and it's not going to be white paint. Your base is going to be silver. That's what you start your base out with. Do not use M&M at all, period. It's very toxic. It will basically knock you off your socks. You want to go with the PPG. It's more gentle to the nose. That's what you want to go with. Your base is going to start off with all silver. That's what you use. And then you put your black in as your toner. That's how you do it. That's how you make an advanced version of the Digital One, and that's how you make an advanced version of any Crow's product right from the door. Because your base is going to start off with silver, 
and you're going to tone it with a black. That's how you do it. Now, you don't want to make it too dark because, like I said, at the end of the day, um, you're just going to come up with very, very bad white levels. And you don't want to make it too light because then your contrast levels don't pull. So you can go by the ingredients what we have on the site now and just replace the white for silver instead. You can do that. And that's the best I can do to help you out. But, yeah, that's how you make an advanced version of it. Well, we just obsolete your product that fast. Yep. That fast. Now you see how this right here, when you make it over here, we make the base, right? We start the base being white. Now imagine the base being silver and you add black into that. There you go. Now if you want to add some glitter into that, I would suggest the silver glitter. Do not put gold in there, people. If you put gold in there, you're going to have a freaking Christmas tree effect popping up across your screen. You want to put silver because silver is going to blend a little better with that, um, that silver base. The reason why when I tell you when people drop silver and at the end of the day, it gets diluted. It gets diluted by the black and white paint in there. You'll never see it. But if you make the base starting off with silver and then darken it with using the black paint, you come up with a hot, more high performance product. And it'll probably be a lot more advanced than that bed sheet over there too on the end of the day. Alright, so let's get this stuff typed in for you guys. Am I hooked? Yeah, I'm hooked. Now what we're doing this demonstration, we're showing this off in the um in the form site. They weren't really talking about, they were talking, they laughing about the screen because I matched it to a tablecloth. But they were more impressed with the black screen. Because the black screen maintained its levels and it did exactly what it was designed to do. I told you, Phantoms pulled the highest white level out of any technology we developed. And it did exactly what it's supposed to do. So before I clean my mess up downstairs, let me get all this typed up for you right now. So you'll have it so I don't forget it. I'm going to sit back and watch me a couple of nature shows, get me a bowl of show, watch some cartoons, get ready for my new speakers that are coming in tomorrow, and I got some demonstrations to do on Legend, some other stuff, and that's it. I'm going to start working on my mech simulator. That's why... When you notice how he was ranting in the room like that, carrying on like that, rant, yeah, because we made his product. He knows he made his product. They were very upset. See the way he was ranting and carrying on the room? Yeah, we made their product that fast, that quick. That's how we knew we hit the nail on the hammer, because the reaction we got out of them at the end of the day. So let's see what we're going to make for, for you people right now. And this is also good, like I said, at the end of the day, you know, we have some people that can't afford our products and they just want a solution better than their white screen. This is going to help you out. All right, so we're going to uh, start off. We got the bed sheet here. Let's put this one at the very top here for you guys. So we're going to call this right here Theater Max. Theater Max. I'm going to give it, uh, I say 1.0. It's not a really big fancy thing. Theater Max 1.0. Um, we're going to start our ingredients. There's going to be three of these. Um, this is going to be a uh, light, abbreviation LT for light uh, mix. And then with this one, we're going to, uh, let's see, I should just take it from down here and just alter it the way I want to. Uh, yeah, just take all this right here and just alter it where I want to to make my job a little easier for me. All right. Now, mind you, if you're making a gallon of this, you have to multiply all this by four if you make a gallon of it. <sighs> okay. So what we're going to do is we're definitely going to take out with the silver glitter. You can put that in if you want. 
I would put the silver glitter into that. Um, let's see, flat black paint, two teaspoons. I should, the light was one, spent one tablespoon of flat black paint, so that's only point. Oh, uh, 10 tablespoons of silver, but you don't have to have the white paint. Oh, wait, wait, that's forgot. That's the other one we're doing. That's a different one. All right, so silver and this one, I would keep it at four. All right. You don't want to go too far with that silver. All right, and then we got one quarter black paint for the silver, one tablespoon of the flat white paint. Okay, okay, that right there, that would be the light mix for that right there. That's perfect. You want to go over the silver, do not put gold in it. All right, there we go. This is going to be uh, the uh, mid dark. Let's say mid. Mid. Oh, no, right there. Mid. All right, try to Mid. And mine, like I said, this comes from experience from developing screen paint when I was, we were making all different kinds of um, formulas and stuff like that. So some of this stuff is integrated from that stuff too. Um, let me see, it's the mid dark. I had to go to the website and put this stuff in too. <sighs> mid dark. I'm going to mid, mid, uh, mid gray. Mid gray theater. I'm going to put that mid gray theater. Uh, we're gonna put this one and okay, right here. Make sure we got our make it easy for us. There we go. This one right here, one had five in it. No, actually, we're gonna put the two. One had the two, one other had the five. That's two. I have one quarter black paint. Hold on. That's one. And then over here, we see four teaspoons of black paint. We put down two, change it out for two. Um, this one here had the silver. We're going to keep that at four. That's at four. All right, that's perfect right there. Sorry about that, people. That's four. Um, and then the glitter right there. So that's a mid gray. Two tablespoons of black paint. There we go. Perfect. All right. I'm going to call this one dark theater. Okay, because that's what the dark one we did. Dark or great theater. <laughs> Theater. Dark theater. Dark theater. Dark theater is going to have. I'm going to put difference in this one. It's going to have five instead. So, dark theater, we are going to have four. All of them have four in silver. Remember, you want to go with the PP, PPR, PPG. Um, let me see. The black is going to be. Five, um, one quarter white paint and silver. All right, that's perfect. So all these you have right there, they're done. Now, if you want the ultimate mix, hmm, let me call it all. Let's see. Oh, I got a perfect one for this one. We're going to call it a crow killer. Mm, crow killer. Nah, 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 that's, that's too wrong. We can't put that in there. That's wrong. That's wrong. We can't put that that's wrong. Another word, no, no, I got it already. Just popped in my head that fast. Very that fast. Superb. 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 Really handy thing. Absolute superb. That's 
just what I call it. absolute superb. Absolute superb. Silver. But it's gonna be silver, literally. Silver theater. Put that out at one point now. I'm gonna put that two point now. Two point now. And we're gonna start off with this one. This is going to be um, the base one quart. All silver. All silver. You want to go with the uh, PPG. That's what you want to go with. Do not use the m and If you do, I'm not responsible for your heart racing at 100 miles an hour. And you pass it out in your living room. That's your problem at the end of the day. But that's something extremely, extremely pungent. If you know what I mean. So, um, we warrant, And it's a little bit more expensive. It's a more high grade. But at the end of the day, yeah, you don't want to mess with that stuff too much. It's good if you're using it for detail hobby work, and I would suggest you wear masking if you're using it. It's a little kind of fun jet, but maybe it's just me, but at the end of the day, it's the safest one to go with. All right, so you're going to use one quart of this. Now, mind you, it depends on how dark or light you want it. So you can go by what you have in the ingredients here with the personal Metallica mix. You can add four. You can add, let's just put those in there right there. So we're going to put down tablespoons of black. Your tablespoons of black, uh, you can go with, uh, I would say, I mean, it's pretty much up to you how you want to experiment with it. But if I was me, I would probably keep it somewhere between, maybe between uh, uh, two and uh, uh, black uh, to around, I think they're going to better. So black to be in the lightest and to be in the darkest, I'd probably hit it at around six. I bet that's where I would be at. So I end up bringing the two to six. Two to six in black. All right. I just put a happy face in there. That's it. Right. Now, as with silver, um, two tablespoons. You have to be one fourth, one fourth um, for silver. I would definitely use glitter only. I would not put gold into this. You want it to be. You want it to marry. And I see it right there. And we'll activate that and you're good to go. Now, like I said, it's up to you. You can sell it, whatever you're going to do with it. You want to add something different to it? All this stuff is designed for change. That's what it is. You got to think outside the box, people, when it comes to this stuff. So there's your free recipes. That is the last version of the Digital One before we pulled the company. And at that time, that product sold for $600 a quart. I don't know what it sells for now, but that's what it was sold for at that particular time. <sighs> now, let's get this mess back into a box so we can ship this back to Crow and get this thing wrapped up so we're good from there. Now, like I said, if you decide you want to go down the road, you want to deal with them, that's your business in the day. As I said before, it's your 80 bucks, not mine. That's you. But if you do happen to basically order off the website, you would stay away from eBay. It's just stay away from it, period. Because you're going to get robbed on eBay. You're going to have to show a detailed receipt of your item when you file your PayPal complaint. And you're going to have to have that there. So that's very important. You can't get a detailed receipt if the item's saying one thing and saying another thing. I was talking to a fellow over there in PayPal's complaint department, and I said, yeah, because the good thing we didn't order over there because it would have came up completely different. And he agreed. It has to say exactly what you ordered on your receipt. If it says one thing, he can argue that against you at the end of the day. Now, if you go to the website and order it, uh, yeah, like I said, at the end of the day, like I said, and its policy on the website is clearly what it says. You know, you can't get the item if it ships on your, on your, uh, lands on your property, but that's bullcrap. You can get around that, too. As long as you don't open it up. So if it gets there, it's the wrong color. If he shipped you the wrong color, whatever happened, went on. I said, that's it. You know, he, he'll probably sit there and go the next day like, well, you know, um, you know, I made a mistake. No, but he didn't make a mistake. We recorded the entire transaction. Contrapotential is talking back into you. The live stream we did were so-called fake Smith. Could be on Biggest Row. Fake Smith came in. 
and basically said that you were going to do the transaction, you were responding back, so you were well aware of what was going on when you did what you did. So we got you added as a scammer, Crow, because at the end of the day, customers have to be very careful and make sure that they're going to get their items at the end of the day. And if he does send you something that's not right, well, I'm going to show you exactly how to get your money back. It's interesting because he was trying to do some demonstration, trying to show people how to get the money back. But Crow, the difference between me and you is that we have an exchange. We try to work with our customers and help them out. If the product does not work well with them, we can always customize. And you see how fast we make product. It's unbelievable. So we can always do something to help our customers out. You at the other day, uh, you on the other hand, you don't have anything there for your customers. You have, once it's delivered, it's yours. And on the other side, you don't even have anything at all explaining your return policies at all, period. So, yeah. So this will be coming back to your front door, buddy boy. Money's going to come back in my pocket. I'm going to push the Raven screen. And I hope my buddies, my friends are going to help me push it also, too. And at the end of the day, we're going to have all your customers, or any, as much as we can possibly get our hands on, we're going to convince them that this is what they need to go with at the end of the day. By getting the rest of your products down here and testing them out. All right, that's basically it. We got everything right there. We're good for you guys. I have to get something to eat. I'm thirsty. I want to get something to drink. And um, I have to be at tomorrow morning for testing it for the new screen. How do we do it? I got to figure out how to do um, a site on eBay, set up an eBay site so we can basically um, give the Raven away for free. Because we're gonna, I'm going to buy like 30 or 40 of those and put them on there for eBay for free. Anybody can have them. Just go on this, grab one. Raven versus Crow. Quote the Raven evermore.